Hello, dear roadwars. In the last video, we added new fields to the form view of our new properties model. Since then, we've added a few more fields and our business has really taken off. We have several properties available. It's now time to look at our model's other views and customize them as well. Let's access our real estate app and open studio. Right, since we're in the Kanban view, let's make a quick change to it. I will search for the field rent or sale and add it on my card right next to the price field here. I will also make it bold so it stands out. Just what I need. Now let's move to the search view. This view allows us to filter, group and search for records. Let's look at the group by list. As you can see, we already have two fields here, responsible and stage. Let's add another one so we can group properties based on whether they're for rent or for sale. To do that, we will look for the exact same field we just added and drag and drop it right here. It could also be useful to group our properties by property type, so I'll add this field as well. This was called property type right here. Then, the easiest way for us to search for a property is by address. So what I, what I can do is add the address to the list of auto-completion fields. Like so. These are the fields you can choose to search through when using the search bar in the model. I'll actually remove the responsible because I don't need it. The last thing we can do with this view is customize filters, but we'll leave that for another video. That's it for a search view. Anything else, Audrey? Yes, I'd like to have an overview of our planned activities. Okay then, we'll go to the Views tab and click on the Activity view to activate it. All right, I think it's time to close Studio and see what the app looks like. This is the Activity view we just added, but obviously there are no activities planned yet. For the other views, the Kanban view hasn't changed too much except for the for rent or for sale that is now here. If you open the search panel, we have the fields that we added. If we select property type, our properties are now grouped by type, which is super convenient. And I can type an address, for example, Happy Street, to search for properties with this address. That's it for this video. Don't forget to check out our user documentation to learn more about fields and views. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Back to you in the studio.